Hello everybody, welcome back to the shed and welcome to another episode. Tonight we are fitting some BC Racing Kyloverse to the car, as well as a Glenza uh, front end here all there, a little brace to go in between the rear axle and also a Powerflex uh, rear gearbox mount. So let's get into it. I'm going to start on the easy side because I have none of the hub assembly or anything on this um, because I obviously destroyed the treads for the, the, wrist, the wishbone at the back side there so I just need to get the correct sized uh, as a tap M12 by 1.25 which I'm kind of struggling to find so I'm going to go on this side first so it's going to be the easiest side shock then so this is obviously the standard suspension um just said i'd show how easy it actually is to take these out these are probably like the easiest suspension or coilovers you'll ever you'll ever put in you have two 19 millimeter bolts you have a 14 mil to hold on your um brake line this is a braided line but it's the same thing for the standard line and then up top you have three i believe there are 12 millimeter bolts to remove um, one thing that I really like about the BC Racing Kylovers, and it makes no sense whatsoever, and I don't know why I like it, is that on top you have four. You have four bolts up on top. Um, I don't know, does it just make it look a bit better or kind of fill out the gap that's there? I don't understand why I like that so much, but I do. So we'll pop out this one and we'll get into BC Racing Kylover. The rear shocks are actually even easier than the front. You only have three uh, fixings on it. So you have two 12 mil bolts up top. And then inside here, you have one 15 mil. And I actually have mine only in hand eyes from the last time, because I knew that I'd be eventually changing this out. So we'll uh, take off the two up top and pull out these shocks. So I, I haven't um, I haven't adjusted the height of these uh, shocks. I just took them out of the box, and I will probably won't adjust them. I'll uh, I'll adjust them once ever I actually get a set of wheels and have to start playing with the height of it. But you can see straight out of the box the difference uh, from the factory shock, and I showed them the front there the kind of comparison between the two. Um, my understanding of this as well is that these two um, collars up here are set for the preload in the spring. Now, if I'm wrong, you can let me know in the comments, but I believe to adjust the height, you just slacken off this collar here, and then this whole bottom section actually treads out. Camera might can see it there. Yeah, you kind of can. Inside in that hole is all threaded. 
So you have the full depth of this collar, or probably maybe three quarters way down of adjustment, up or down. Um, it's already an awful lot. This is gonna make it an awful lot lower. So what I'm gonna do is pull out the other shock, get it in the same position as it is here, and I'll throw the jack um, in under the center of the axle and just bring it up to meet this point here as well. This will probably also sort my issue with the rear anti-roll bar where it was just um, too low to be able to mount into the chassis here. And I have one of my mates that is uh, a welder. He's gonna come and we're gonna make up some brackets and actually weld them into the chassis here and then get the tie in pint for that into the chassis there as well. So yeah, I'll get cracking on the other side and then throw the bolt through the two of these. But looking a whole pile better. I think uh, one thing that's fairly cool and that's kind of worth noting is that this front anti-roll bar that I'm just after putting in is actually off of a Glenza. And why I find that kind of cool is because this car, so this uh, obviously is a non-turbo car, didn't come with any version of an anti-roll bar at all. But the two brackets that you see me tying into above here, um, these holes, these threaded holes are actually already in, in the body of the car, in the chassis of the car. And there was just two little plastic tabs, so once I pulled them out, there was threaded holes already there. And then these are also um, factory wishbones, uh, or front or lower control arm, or whatever you want to call them. But these were the non-turbo factory uh, ones. I didn't change these out for Glenza ones, and they had this little port here to be able to take the drop link for the anti-roll bar. Um, so I was kind of took a chance on buying this bear off of Facebook Marketplace, uh, picked up the drop links in, in an auto vectors and just said I chance it and see would it work and it's after working uh, perfect. So I'm delighted with that. Still don't have obviously this side together because those, these uh, holes here on 
that side are damaged, as I said earlier. So once I get that one sorted, I'll be able to pop it in the other side. But yeah, well happy with that. So that's it, got everything done. Um, more than happy with everything that I got done tonight. Had these parts uh, in the shed for a nice while, was really eager to get them on. Um, so I'm delighted with the way the night went. Everything went on fine. Took a chance with the front anti-roll bear. It being a Glenza bear, worked perfect. Also picked up the rear brace that was actually bought, I think for an EP70, the older model, one of these. Um, so I wasn't 100% sure was this gonna fit or not. Fit it perfect. It was just a bit awkward um, getting the bolts back into the into the rear axle with the little bracket for the um, for the bear, but we got through it anyway. Um, I'm probably one of the most awkward people you'll ever see, so trying to figure it out just took me a few minutes, but we got there. Um, yeah, really, really happy with how the whole thing is after coming together. I want to get, say, everything on the chassis done and com completely finished, all tightened up, and then down on the ground. By the time the car goes down on the ground, I don't want to have to take it back up for anything again. So that's kind of what I'm going for. Uh, and we're getting very close to it now. So that was a great night. It has me very excited. I'm full of energy. I don't know how I'm going to go home and go to bed after this. But um, yeah, it was a great night. Um, I'll take a couple of shots of all the bits that we got on. And thanks again for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for following. And I'll catch you in the next one.